What up, peoples? This is uh, Jason here from Custom Cans. I got a rather exciting package through from China. Got me some Sundaras. I had a look at the HE400 SE. We did some mods on those. So I'm going to get these out. We're going to see how these are made, do a bit of a design review. If you're looking for a review of the sound, lots of other people do that. I'm not going to do that because I, I like to have a good listen for a couple of weeks. Uh, so we're just going to get these out of the box. We're going to pull them apart, see how they're made. Uh, maybe compare the construction to the HE400 SE, see what extra you get as you go up in the range. Then I'll have a bit of a listen and maybe have a bit of a mod. I don't know. Uh, it depends how they sound. But uh, th this is something that, that people have asked me to get in, so I'm going to do it. Also, while, while I'm at it, just thought I'd mention we've got a couple of other bits that people have asked for in the videos and I've, uh, I've listened. So our HT600 kit, they asked if they could come in black for a more stealthy look. And uh, obviously we have a we have a professional spray booth here, so yeah, I got them to spray a batch of them black. So we have some black ones available on the website. Uh, people are also asking if they can have a play along at home DIY kit for the detachable cable mod on the HD. Oh, no, sorry, on the on the DT seven seventy eight eighty nine ninety. Uh, so that's what we've got. So we've got a little socket with the wires already attached, headband cable, and the connection for the cable. So it's got all the pieces that you'd need to do a detachable cable mod, and some of the work's been done for you. And also the burr tools included. I'm a little bit nervous about selling those because really, if you can't figure this stuff out yourself, you probably shouldn't be drilling holes in pairs of headphones. But you know, if you just want to do it to support the channel, that's fine. You, you buy these things, but if you don't know what you're doing, uh, I guess what else to do. <laughs> you know how it is. I've just put these away. Blatantly, blatantly product placement there. Uh, but you know, you've got to make some money back on these videos. And uh, this, this probably cost me a couple hundred quid. So uh, let's get these open and see see what ting up go on. <sighs> Unleash my rage at all. Oh, slightly nice the box with gold lettering. Ooh. And time. <laughs> Ooh, silica gel. Ah. Well, you know, they come very well packaged. I'd be very surprised if you got a pair of these arrived from China and the box was damaged. Because it's got good, good cardboard box, bubble wrap, polystyrene. It's got the whole shebang. So there you go, the Hi Fi Man Sandara. Let's get into this box. Yeah, I've recently uh, managed to get in touch with Hi-Fi Man and we are going to become a, a dealer. We, we've, we've just started stocking the HE400 SEs. You can have a look at these. We might start stocking these and some other models as well. If there's any other ones in the range that you reckon that we should take a look at, let me know. Like, we don't generally do super expensive stuff. We're more kind of audiophile on a budget. Ooh, ooh, Shazam. Look at that. It's, uh, it's quite nice with the silky... Silky inlay and a nicer looking cable with a legit looking jack on it. Yeah, nicer cable than you get with a HE400 SE. The newer versions of the HE400 SE do now come with this because they did come with a horrible silver one. Let me just grab one of those. Yeah, so the original HE400 SE came with this cable which was really microphonic. You know, it would, it would hold its shape quite weirdly. It was not quite loose. So it, it, this cable was a, a partial success. Obviously, a silver-plated braided cable is relatively expensive, and they've gone for the expensive look. But um, you know, the ergonomics weren't great on that one. So this this one is similar to the one that they come with the with the newer HE400 SE. It comes with both cables, but this one's a little bit nicer. Let's just have a quick look while we've got this. Let's just uh, is that that's glued shut. Damn, I was going to have a look at their soldering, but we uh, yeah, no, that's all filled with glue. But uh, might get that apart later. Okay, so sorry. Oh, without further ado, let's get these out of the box and have a quick look at them. So we've got some more silica gel in there. Right. So on the back here, we have a wire mesh with a larger area open than you get on the HE400 SE. Hold on, I better get some HE400 SEs and then we can uh, pair them. Ah, uh, here we are. <laughs> So you've got much more open area here with a metal mesh grill, nice metal body, nicer headband. You know, this this is a good step up in quality. We, we're going to be modifying these and I would like to put in a different grill with a bit more open area, which I think would help like that. Pads wise, the pads look different. Yeah, the pads are different. So you've got fancier pads with a nicer material whip next to your head. Because those ones are velour, which is okay, but it tends to kind of soak up. Ear yeah, funk and go a bit funky after a while. So this is more of a just like a nylon-y kind of thing on there. But yeah, the headband definitely feels a lot nicer than this one. I'm not really a big fan of this squishy sausage that you've got on top of there. But cost-wise, you know, these are like 130 something like that. So they're, they're very good value. These are jumping up. Uh, how much is a pair of these? Let's have a look. 
Yeah, so these are 300, so they're twice as much. But the, the metal body that, the, that they come in is, is good because it's going to give more rigidity, a bit more mass concentrated in the right area, which is a good thing. The socket on the bottom isn't recessed, which means that it's compatible with any 3.5mm jack, which is nice. So this one's got a, got a recess in it, so you need a jack that's capable of fitting in a recess. Just limits the number of cables that you can you can do. This this one will work with any 3.5mm cable pretty much. Twice as much money, but they do look a lot sexier. <laughs> like just, just from the outset, without opening up the insides, they do look they do look a lot nicer. So uh, let's see how these bad boys come apart. Let's have a look inside and see what secrets they hold. So the pads unclip in the normal Hi-Fi Man way, so the pads are interchangeable between these and the HE400 SE. And oh, the driver looks very different. Let's have a look at that. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you've got a very different arrangement on the driver. A much more open area in there than you have on the HE400 SE. I'll just bust these open, then we'll have a look at the two drivers together and we'll see if we can see the differences. That's quite interesting. So I reckon undo these knurled what's it to get the ear cap off. Is that gonna undo? Hmm. I'm not sure this is unscrewing anything. Keep going for a little bit, we'll see if it comes out. No, I don't think that's unscrewing. I don't know, what I might have to do is unscrew the driver. We might be able to see inside and see how this bit comes off. So I'm just gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. So it's held in with six screws underneath. Holes okay. in the metal, which is a nicer arrangement. And again, like the HE400 SE, it's got a, a metal retaining plate, but it looks looks like it's a higher quality piece than on the HE400 SE. But yeah, overall, you know, I, I was a bit, I was wondering whether these would be similar, just with a nicer housing, but no, they've got a totally different driver. So that's exciting. Modding the HE400 SE took me a really long time though, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Not sure I'm going to do anything on these. Uh, we'll have a look. I might try some basic mods, but completely redesigning them. Uh, there's no need for that. I think I, li I like the look of these. I didn't like the look of the HE400 and SEs. Whereas obviously they look much sexier with the <laughs> with the 3D printed mod. But that took me months. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would be a, a couple of days, but just all the redesigning and testing. Because to be honest, I have many years of tuning dynamic drivers, but I don't really know what I'm doing with the planers yet. Right, so we've got that out. So you have a little rubber gasket there, which helps hold it all in place, stops it from rattling, and you've got a pressed metal thing. So it is, it is similar to the HE400 SE one. It seems to be pressed slightly nicer. Okay, all right, so we're partially in. Let's get the driver out very carefully. Put that down there. So that's the mesh. Ah, uh, these have got screws on the inside. So yeah, so I think really you're going to have to remove the driver to remove the ear cup. Ooh, ooh, don't break my new headphones. Okay. Yeah, I'm not at all sure about this. This does not seem like it's going to be easy to dismantle. Now, nah. no, nah, so essentially you've got um You've got a Phillips screw in here connected to this knurled piece, but I think it's glued and screwed. It looks like it's got some glue on there. Uh, so I might have to heat it up to release it. But uh, yeah, I can see inside the air cap here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, this is all machined from a from a single piece of aluminium by the look of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all machined from a single piece of aluminium and they've even machined in a little L and R to mark which one's left and right. This looks like aluminium as well, which will be formed and just kind of bent. The clicking mechanism, it's pretty nice. It's quite a nice firm click on there. Let's have a look at the exciting part. It's a bit lighter. Let's get me, a, get me one of the HE400 SE drivers and we'll have a look. Here's one that I broke earlier. <laughs> so the HE400 SE, you've got magnets on either side of the diaphragm. On the Sundara, it looks like you've just got magnets on the back. So you've got magnets on the back here and then it's open at the front. And then you've got this, this ring. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, you've got this ring here with these radial spikes which are kind of holding it all together. So yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm not sure we can get much more into this without damaging it. But yeah, it's got an integrated um, kind of mesh glued on the back here. 
which will stop dust from getting in there. And then again, you've got another rubber rubber section, which will hold it all in. Um, and that, that goes onto a groove in there. So yeah, so it is quite a different design to the HE400 SE. Uh, you've got a larger diaphragm. So if we measure the, the bits with the, with the traces in on this one, is about 65 millimeters from the top to the bottom on the on the traces on that one and then this one probably around 85 so yeah so the actual active area of the diaphragm is larger on these you've only got magnets on one side rather than both sides obviously it must be better these sound nicer apparently <laughs> uh yeah so yeah so quite interesting um the headbands apparently are interchangeable between this and the, the HE400. Is that the same size? Yeah, they're basically the same size. So you could put this headband on there um, and you can order this headband from the Hi-Fi Man website. Yeah, so that's what the uh, the insides of the Hi-Fi Man Sundara look like. Nice. Yeah, I'm still learning when it comes to planners, so I don't know. But yeah, larger driver, magnets only on one side. Bigger open area on the back here nicer headband. So that's what you get as you gap in, in price from the HE400 to the Sundara. There's there's quite a few quite a few improvements and now it's got me kind of intrigued and I might save up some pennies. Uh, I might buy the next like something a bit higher up the range and see what extra you get for that. And uh, I'm going to put these back together and have a good old listen to them and see what they're see what they like. And I might also have a listen versus the one the HE400s that I've modded just to see if I've done good or not. <laughs> I don't know. Have I managed to turn a £130 pair of headphones into something that sounds as good as a £300 pair? I don't know. I'll find out. I might update you in the future. Oh, uh, uh, it was future Jason here. I couldn't, couldn't resist. Like a kid with a new toy, I uh, thought I'd just better have a quick listen. Yeah, got them back together. They went back together really nicely. They have got tap threads in the, in the aluminium housing, so the screws go back in nicely. As It's just kind of tapped into the plastic on the HE400 SEs. They use self-tappers. So yeah, they're built better than the HE400s, which which is good. So you're paying double the money. It's not just the driver; the whole build quality is a little bit better. These these were very good. These ones are better. Um, sound wise, the mids and the trebles are, are just crisper on the on the Sundaras. Um, like these sound uh, like they're good, and certainly for 130 pounds, it's it's difficult to find much that's that's better than those. But I felt I always felt they were lacking, you know, lacking a little bit of something, something, which is why I started modifying them. The Sundar was a really good, like the 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 mids and the trebles are super crisp. The only thing I'd say that they're lacking, which was the same as these, is a little bit of. Uh, authority in the low end you know the, the sub bass the 20 20 to 40 hertz kind of range uh it's a bit recessed on those um these are much warmer the he 400 is a more warmer it's a warmer sound if you prefer that this has got more crisp analytical sound but the the modified ones are still the king of dirty dirty bass uh they've got really textured bass you can hear what's going on in the in the low end so i'm now eyeing these up and thinking, is there something I can do with the Sundaras, given the base that I managed to squeeze out of the HE 400s? Because if so, that'd be that'd be pretty magic. Uh, but I'm, at the moment, I'm too busy to kind of do that. Um, yeah, so maybe in the future, I might have a have a play around with these and see if we can squeeze a bit more juice out of them. But it might just be just be pads. I think maybe just getting some some nicer pads will probably fill in that that low end a little bit if not then i might have to do some of the stuff i did on these to manage the airflow and try and squeeze a bit more out of them but uh yeah anyway uh the future product but uh back to past jason just to finish off now what, what? yeah anyway uh got any questions stick them in the thing if there's anything else that you'd like to see in the range that's not crazy expensive let me know and i might get those in and we'll get them apart because now we're now we're a hi-fi man dealer i can get them a bit cheaper than buying them retail but yeah yeah, it's been super awesome hanging out. Um, it'd be really great if you could uh, give us a like, if you know anyone else that would like this kind of stuff. Let them know. Get them subscribed. The more subscribers, the better. I think we've got 3,000 now, which is pretty... It's not that many. That's all right. And uh, we've had a million views. Just crossed the million views mark. So doing all right. Doing all right. Pretty good. But anyway, super awesome hanging out. Catch you again.